in the gate top three guaranteed a spot in the half million dollar final next Saturday along with the fourth place finisher with the highest purse earnings among the three eliminations. They're at the post for elim one and here they come. And they're off strong start from Missive Hanover who heads out for the lead. Woman of class floats out of there from the outside. Funny Malentine has come away up close to the lead. In the shell is fourth on the inside and Blackberry Hanover reserved early slides over fifth against the pylons. Olympics gets an early tap with the whip there and Patsy Fed backs off last where she trails the field. So it's Missive Hanover who's two lengths clear and on pressured as they move toward the quarter. Campbell backs off Woman of class and he'll drop in third just in behind Funny Malentine who's second opening quarter up in 28 and 1. Racing in fourth is in the shell. Blackberry Hanover still content to follow so far fifth. Olympics is sixth as the pace is slowed on the back stretch and Patsy Fed looks to flush her to the outside all over the back there of Olympics and Olympics would like to get Blackberry Hanover to the outside and start some cover flow and in the meantime Miss of Hanover is just strolling along on the lead. No pressure whatsoever. She's a very comfortable two lengths in front. Funny Malentine content with that pocket spot is second. The half is up and 57 and 3. And now Blackberry Hanover does commit to the outside. So Olympics and Patsy Fed line up behind her cover. Woman of Class still trotting in third on the inside and in the shell set in and is locked in fifth as Blackberry Hanover is moved within about four lengths of Miss of Hanover with less than three eighths to go. But Miss of Hanover has led at every call so far. Funny Malentine will sit in behind her in second. And Blackberry Hanover is coming for Dave Miller on the outside. And she's gaining with every stride just off the leader's wheel by three quarters, 127 and three. So a 30 second third quarter breather for Missive Hanover and she's under a Doherty hand drive trying to take them all the way here. Blackberry Hanover on the outside is second. Funny Malentine third. Olympics is fourth on the outside. Missive Hanover two lengths clear with a 16 to go. Blackberry Hanover under a hand drive with Funny Malentine at the rail. It is Missive Hanover as they head down to the finish. Missive Hanover gate to wire tight for second between Blackberry Hanover and Funny Malentine and I believe Olympics was fourth, 156 and two. We're talking to Tom Gonzalez and she's actually bigger than Luby, the three-year-old. Oh yeah, she's a good sized filly. Yeah, tell us about your trip tonight. You got the lead pretty easy early. Well, well, she's got some speed and just got to the front and she was pretty good tonight. In Lexington, they came after a three-quarter pole. She trotted away. Tonight, you had a challenge here from Blackberry. What were you thinking of the three-quarter pole, and how did she respond? Uh, she felt very good all the way, so she, I thought she was going to be pretty strong. And uh, what about the final? Is, uh, have we seen the best yet of Mrs. Hanover? Well, I don't know. There's some pretty good ones. The Philly from Ontario is real good in there, too, you know. You've driven some top Philly trotters. No nonsense woman comes to mind immediately. Is this one in the class of that? Yeah, she's pretty good Philly, this Philly, yes. Okay, Jim Doherty, good luck next week in the final. Tomorrow night with Luby.